Dear Gemini Proposer, this is André Nicolas Chenet talking to you from Gemini Observatory. Once PIT is filled with uh, all the information on your proposal, the PDF uh, file is attached, your observations are ready, you're almost ready for submitting your proposal. The last thing that needs to be done is to clarify how much time you want to request. To do that, you go under the time request section that is available through the tab underneath this window. You first have to clarify which uh, class of proposal you're about to submit. The default is Q. It can also be classical. Q and classical are available uh, every semester through a call for proposal. It can also be a large and long program that are open yearly. Um, it can be a fast and around program that can be submitted every month. It can also be um, a way to access uh, Keck or Subaru. So you can ask for Keck or Subaru instrumentation through the Gemini partnership. And once this is selected, this enables uh, the instruments uh, into the selection into the uh, observation section. So you can make your Keck proposal with uh, specific instruments. You can ask for intensive programs at Subaru, which are uh, the equivalent of large program using the Subaru uh, instrumentation. And it can be other type of proposal. So those types, if I select that, are demo science or science verification, typically uh, made available when there are new capabilities at Gem uh, Gemini, and there's a call for trying some science with them. It can be a director uh, time, so a DDT proposal that can be submitted at any time directly to the directorate for uh, privileges access to uh, the telescope. Or it can, it can be a poor weather uh, proposal, which are basically for bright targets that can be observed in very bad conditions. These as well can be submitted at any time without any deadline. For this tutorial, I will go back to Q. Once you have selected the class of proposal, if it's Q or uh, if it's uh, some of the types, you can uh, decide if you're considering band three. In a previous video, we have said yes already, but if you don't want, you have to select no. The last thing that needs to be uh, fixed if you want band three is to decide how much time you want to request for band three. To do that, you click on this uh, chronometer icon this brings a window into which you can enter the requested time. The first one here is the full requested time. Um, to know how much time you should put there, you can simply come here under the observations section. You have a summary of how much time you have prepared uh, in, with your observations. You have them split. You have band three here, and this is separately what you have prepared under the observations section, which would be for if your program is in band one or band two. In this case, we want to know about band 3, so we would put 16.5. If I were to put less or more, uh, and I click OK, you would see a warning appearing saying, oh, you're requesting for a different amount of time than what you have prepared. It's just a warning. It does not prevent you from submitting your proposal, but it doesn't quite make sense. So it's better to have it equal. It's also asking for a minimum time. So um, this is defined as the minimum of time that you would be allocated for your program that would allow you to end up with enough data so you could publish. This can be decided by uh, taking out certain targets, and then you sum up the total that you end up with, or reducing the exposure time for each target so you would end up end up with the lower signal to noise. But if it's good enough for publication, then it can help you um, uh, deciding on this quote minimum time requested. So don't worry, because the main effort is to give you the total amount you're asking for. But minimum time is a, is a way to guide uh, uh, people when it's time to define what's in your program. So let's put 11 hours. It could, or it can be the same. If, if you don't want to differ from what you have prepared, you can put the full time equal. There's no problem with that. The next thing to select is if you're interested into the target of opportunity mode. So if you want a TO proposal, you can uh, select if it's a standard TO or a rapid TO. Or if you're not interested into TO at all, you just leave it at none. The last thing to select is the request type. Uh, if you're a Gemini partner, this is the default. 
But if you're uh, having access to Gemini through the CFHT partnership, then you have uh, this showing up to you. If you're from Keck or from Japan through the exchange with Keck and Subaru, you can select these. But for this tutorial, we'll stay with the Gemini partnership. To define how much time you're requesting, uh, you can fill this table with the different partners. Um, let's say that the PI is from Brazil. Uh, you have to click, double click on the line for Brazil. And you select which of your science team is the lead for that partner. Ideally, the PI is asking for the highest fraction of time. So let's say um, we have here the Brazilian partner asking for 10 hours on that program. And there's a minimum of six hours that could be allocated to have a minimum of useful time. And then you can click OK. The warning shows up again. You are asking for a different time than the total you have prepared. If you compare to this value here, that's normal. Anyway, we wanted to add time, let's say through the Argentinian partnership, as the COA is the lead for Argentina. And in that section, we can request for the remaining time here with a minimum of, let's say, one hour. Um, if you're asking for another one, and something happens and you want to erase it, you can always remove it by saying remove partner, click OK, and you're back to what you had before. If you have any additional information about your targets, you may want to add um, any detail under the scheduling section, which is available through this tab here. This is a text box to enter any information that would be relevant for your targets. So non tutorial targets may want to put availability of their targets in more detail and maybe the maximum brightness for um, get guiding the tax in, in giving you um, your program um, when it's uh, the most appropriate. If you're asking for classical time, you may want to tell Gemini when you cannot travel, or when you can travel. If you have a specific timing window, so when an, a predictable phenomena is expected, like an eclipse or a burst, um, you may want, you may enter those timing windows specifically in that section here. I hope this video was useful too, and we're ready for submitting the proposal in a subsequent video.